I think we should have a style vlog, honey. Why? Because we could show off your style every day. I have the best style. Feel like Especially in the morning. Fashion vlog. Alright, so we are heading to Big Bear today, which is our adventure for the week. And uh, before we go, I want to talk about something that people have asked me a lot about, and I am going to answer it. So the beginning of this video is kind of a gear review-ish type thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the thing I want to talk about today is iPhone lenses, little lenses that you attach to your iPhone so that you can, you know, go wider, go more telephoto. The one that I've been using is the Moment lens. How this thing works basically is there's like a little bracket thing and you gotta stick this to your phone, right? And you twist and voila, boom. The idea with the Moment lens, at least this one, is it's wide angle, so it's wider than what your phone normally shoots. Your phone, the iPhone, uh, this is the iPhone 7, it normally shoots at like, I think 28 millimeters, which is decently wide, um, but if you wanna go wider, which I like to sometimes, uh, this guy clicks on there. Now, I think it's awesome and I think it's amazing. I would say that for, on a scale of quality, like this is the best you're gonna get. Like moment lenses are just, it's the glass is incredible. The mount is really good, super strong, um, but there's problems to it. And I'm hoping to resolve some of those problems with this. This is the new Olo clip for the iPhone 7. Um, and I think it's gonna solve some of my problems. What don't I like about this? The main reason I don't like this is this plate right here. Um, there's a little like hook thingy on here and it's what the lens hooks into, but it, it's kind of grabby. Like when you slide it in out of your pocket, you'll feel it kind of a little bit. It's no big deal. The main thing that I don't like it for is that the majority of the time I don't have this on there. The majority of the time this is just, you know, in my bag. When it's not on there, Stuff gets in your lens like if it's in your pocket for a little while and like, you know you pull it out You get like little fuzzies on your lens. It's the same thing whenever I'm out and someone's like uh, Can you take our picture? I always take their phone and I go And I clean their lens real quick There's like a quick wipe and you when this is on there. You kind of can't do that. You kind of got to like You like need like something really small to get in there and get it um even then, it doesn't do a very good job. So, because this thing is on there, I get a dirty lens. And then the other problem with this, which again, this is an amazing lens, but you see the back of it? It's got like a hole. It's like, it really goes in there, and it's a very small hole. And when dirt gets in there, like there is right now, that's all I can think to ever do. Because I don't have anything to stick in there. I don't have a, like I need a cute, hold on. Q-tips are probably the answer here. Uh, so if you have a moment lens and you have this mount on your thing, you should probably keep Q-tips with you. Oh yeah, that works totally. This is the other kind of funk thing, is that like it is on there and you gotta, without hurting your phone. <laughs> and once you pop that off, like it's done. Like it's bent, it's all. I don't know, maybe you could use it again. Eh, probably not. Anyways, if you if I wanna go back to a moment now, now I have to reorder another one of these things to mount back on my phone. Again, that's kind of annoying. All right, so here's the Olo clip. This is my first unboxing video. I don't really do unboxing. I got two of these. So this is like, and I don't know why I have two, but they look the same. No, they're backwards. No, they're not. Seven. Oh, one of these is for the seven plus. That's for the seven plus. 
Wow, that's pretty sweet. So they give you a seven and a seven plus for you. Um, and so I have the seven. So this piece is just so that you can like hold it on things. So when you're not using the lenses, you can go clunk up up like that. And then you can like, I don't know, hook them on things or put them in your pocket. Uh, two lenses. One is a wide lens. They don't set, say the millimeters on it. So, oh no, I'm sorry. This one's telephoto two times. And then this one is ultra wide. And then they have, they have different lenses that can pop into this thing. Ah, who needs stinking directions? So in theory, this thing, oh yeah. Ba-boom, ba-boom. That's sweet. So you put one on one side and this one goes on the other side, which seems like, why would you want that? It's for two reasons. So one, oh. okay, so one is that you can just switch really quickly. So I can be like, I'm telephoto and now I'm normal. And then I flip it around and, oh yeah, so the lineup thing is kind of funky. There it goes, it clicks when it lines up. Wow. So now I'm ultra wide. It's a little bulby, like it's a little fishy, but that's okay. The Olo clip isn't sweet with screen protectors. It just popped my screen protector. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, screen protector gone. It was a cheap screen protector. It came with something. It was like one of those buy a battery pack thing. Here's a screen protector. Okay, now no screen protector. Oh yeah, now it goes on really easy. That's great. So, um, I think that's all I got. I like this thing a lot, it was really great, but too many things bug me about it, so now I'm gonna try this thing, the Olo Clip, and uh, yeah, we'll see, how it, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try it at Big Bear. Today, we leave for Big Bear. We're gonna be there for like three nights, and I might make daily videos, but I also might just enjoy snowboarding and riding at the cabin. Uh, there'll be at least one video from it, so we'll see how many come. All right, here we go. left our house at 12.45. It's now two o'clock and we're not on the road to Big Bear yet. We had to go to my brother's house, then we went to Costco and we got our passes at Costco and, and we also got hot dogs. Hey girl. Hey. Hey. We got, we got lunch at Costco, hot dogs. It's a buck 50 for a hot dog and a soda. You can't say no to that. Well, there's good news and there's bad news. Um, the good news is that we made it to Baseline, which is only like 20 minutes away from probably where we're gonna have to put chains on. And it's still light out. We got like 45 more minutes of light, so that'll be good. Uh, the bad news is that it's been pouring down rain the entire time. So, our firewood got wet. Definitely. All this stuff's fine, I think. But my hope is that the pieces of wood that are in the middle, I'll be able to pull those out and start the fire and then it'll work. We'll see. Definitely a little wetter, but this probably means that it's like, it's dumping snow up in Big Bear, which is awesome. That's, that's great news for us except for the fact that the cabin is probably snowed in and we're gonna have to shovel quite a bit, or I'm gonna shovel quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I think that's the only update. I couldn't really film while driving, obviously, because, you know, unsafe. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming down. Either way, it's gonna be a good adventure. We have all-wheel drive, yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you, sir. All right. Hell yeah, that's huge. Okay, because 
because we have four wheel drive, we do not need to put chains on right now. Which is so awesome because it's pouring down rain right now. Yeah. And everyone's pulled over like miserable putting their chains on. And uh, we don't have to right now. That's pretty sweet. Yes, for four wheel drive. Oh, I'm so pumped right now. So, that guy right there slid out. And now that guy is helping that guy put chains on his car. Because he clearly doesn't have four wheel drive. No, because he clearly is an idiot. Wow. Look at him, he doesn't take any of the snow off. <laughs> That's gonna be really bad. That is that. terrible. All right, this is what you down. you don't do. Oh my God. So as soon as that guy whips one hard turn, all that snow comes off, boom, middle of the road. Everyone, everyone gets up. What in the hell? That's our parking spot. I don't know if you can see that, but that's like probably 15 feet. I wonder if I could shovel that out right there. Look at trying to get into the... Yeah, because we've parked over here before. Oh my... Okay, a little update. <sighs> we've been at the cabin for about... Half an hour now. Um, so the snow plows came through and they did this to the front yard. That's normally where we park. We normally park there, but uh, I'm gonna try to dig this spot out here. All of that. And if I get a spot dug out big enough, then we can park without getting our truck towed. So we're in the cabin. We've had some success so far. We were able to dig out the front. We were able to find a parking spot because the neighbor is super nice and let us park in her friend's spot that she said just left today. Um, the thing is that because it gets so cold up here, when you leave the cabin, you turn the water off. So right now, we have to go out back where it's about three feet of snow. We have to dig a path so that we can get to the water turn on valve thingy. It's a little miserable right now, but they say that the adventure doesn't really begin until something goes wrong, which I think is true because if we were to come up here tonight and we would have just gotten right in. We wouldn't have been buried in snow. It wouldn't have been wouldn't much be of a story. Wet. Yeah, but it wouldn't change. be much of a story. I gotta go dig that out first. I love you. <sighs> Are you going to the back door? Yeah. yeah. How you doing, babe? What's up? How you doing? You good? It's like five feet. Oh shit. It's like five feet over the uh, water thing. Look at the hole he digged. Oh, poor man. We got 550. Oh, oh! Winner, winner, winner! Oh. You're tied. Oh, no, I won all night. All night I won. Doesn't matter what you say, it only matters what makes the camera. <laughs>